This is the continuation of the lesson on getting used to the status toolbar, in which I walk you through the various controls and options available by default across the top of each FileMaker window. In the first part of this lesson, we looked at the browse mode controls on the status toolbar, starting from the top left, and we got to the point of talking about the use of the Find button. Adjacent to the Find button when you're in browse mode is the Sort button that you can use to change the order of the displayed records. As it happens, in Table View, you can apply simple sorts by using the menus associated with the column headings. However, the Sort button gives you access to a richer range of options, allowing you to specify compound sorts that work on more than one field at once. We'll cover the ins and outs of sorting in detail later in this chapter. But for now, it's enough that you know that the Sort button on the Status Toolbar gives you immediate access to the Sort Records dialog. To the right of the Sort button, there's a search field. In FileMaker terminology, the search field is called a Quick Find field. When I click into the Quick Find field and type a couple of letters, let's say a W and an I, then press the Return key or the Enter key, FileMaker performs a find across all the fields on the layout, returning any records that contain a word starting with the characters entered in the Quick Find field. In this case, the fifth record has been found because it has the letters WI at the start of the second word of the Publisher field, and also the eighth record has been found because it has the letters WI at the start of the third word in the Title field. You can use the button labelled with an X at the right of the Quick Find field to clear the Quick Find field criteria. While this clears the criteria, it doesn't cancel the find. To do that, I must also click on the Show All button. Or alternatively, I can select the Show All Records command from the Records menu. When you've performed a Quick Find, at any time you can reinstate it by using the Menu of Recent Searches. To do that, click on the arrow immediately to the right of the magnifying glass icon at the left of the Quick Find field. Now I'll cancel the Quick Find so we can look at some other features of the Status Toolbar. So far, we've looked at the various controls across the top of the status toolbar from left to right in FileMaker's browse mode. Now, let's take a look at the controls in the narrower, lower band of the status toolbar. At the lower left of the status toolbar, you'll find the Layout menu. When there are multiple layouts in a file, you can choose which one you want to view using the Layouts menu. Notice that the currently showing layout appears in the menu, listed as Work File 1. Remember that WorkFile1 was the original name of this file, and FileMaker has used that original file name as the default name for the first table and also for the first layout in the file. When I click on the Layout menu, you can see that I've added a second layout named Test Layout so that we can try navigating between layouts. It's a simple matter to use the Layout menu to move between these two layouts, like so. To the right of the Layout menu, are the View Controls. We're currently looking at the Work File 1 layout in Table View, but we can choose to view the layout in Form View, where FileMaker shows us one record at a time, and when we navigate between records, each record replaces the last. Or we can view the layout in List View, where the records sit one below another in a continuous scrolling list. In each of the different views, the navigation controls on the Status Toolbar work in the same way to allow you to select the active record and move around among the records. To the right of the view controls is a button labelled Preview. A click on the Preview button takes me into Preview mode, allowing me to see how the current layout in its current view will look when printed. Notice that now I am in Preview mode, the button label has changed to Exit Preview, so the button can effectively be used with alternate clicks of the mouse to toggle back and forth between Preview Mode and Browse Mode. Somewhat similarly, at the far right of the lower band of the Status Toolbar is another Mode button that allows you to move into Layout Mode. It's labelled Edit Layout. After clicking on the Edit Layout button, I'm able to make changes to the appearance and position of fields and labels or any other objects on the layout. Layout Mode is essentially a graphic design environment for creating and editing layouts for use as the screens and reports in your database. 
Again, I can use the button in the same position in the lower section of the status toolbar, which is now labelled Exit Layout, to leave Layout Mode and return to Browse Mode. To the left of the Edit Layout button is a button that invokes the Formatting Bar. This gives access to a third area of the status toolbar containing a number of formatting controls. The formatting button toggles between two states, alternately revealing or concealing the formatting bar, and the button shading changes to indicate its active state. When I have some text selected in a field, the controls on the formatting bar can be used to choose a font or font size, to apply a font color, to apply or remove text highlighting, to choose alternative font styles, or to change the paragraph alignment of the selected text. Many of the actions you can take using the status toolbar can also be invoked from the overhead menus if you know where to look. For example, you can change modes using the View menu, FileMaker's four primary modes, Browse mode, Find mode, Layout mode, and Preview mode, are also accessible there. In each mode, the controls on the status toolbar operate in a way that makes sense in context. So, for example, in Layout mode, the flipbook icon allows you to navigate between layouts. In Browse mode, of course, the flipbook allows you to navigate between records. In Preview mode, however, the flipbook allows you to navigate between pages of the document or report being previewed. And in Find mode, it's possible to create multiple criteria sets, known as Find Requests. And when you do, the flipbook allows you to navigate between Find Requests. As I mentioned earlier, you'll find a copy of this file provided as the work file for this lesson. Before going on to the next lesson, you might like to open the work file and spend some time getting comfortable with the various toolbar controls and the way they work.